but before we do- wait. Wait, there was a door. There is a door I can open in here. Did you hear the one about the ruler who was a little bit- a little on the hungry side? Absolutely starving, he w so he was. Ba boom Oh god. <laughs> so where people's island guard continue normal lives in absent of Sar. This is very much pleasing. Not can much about the fellow, but I've heard tell of a famous bard who plies his trade in this very tomb. Uh, yeah, but anyways, there's a there's a sign back there, and also a secret secret uh, shop. But we and we can just just now get to it. Almost forgot completely about it. Did I not need to go up here? Whatever. I'm a student of history. Long ago, old Tsar of Smoska is able to observe into future. So I'm wondering if perhaps current Tsar is also with same skill. It's true that repeated generations of Tsars are predicting attacks on kingdom and avoiding defeat. Hmm. The truth of illustrious history of motherland is becoming clearer. What do you sell? Poison Needle, Steel Broadsword, Somatic Staff. So, we haven't... Oh my gosh, so many of them can use this. We haven't got one of these yet. I don't have the money for it. Battle Axe we have. Ragnar can also equip it. Good to know. Cloak of Evasion and Iron Mask. Which Ragnar can also equip, so maybe it would have been worth picking one up, but... Hmm. I think I want the Somatic Staff. Can I sell anything? If, well, I would like to sell the steel broadsword, but it, I don't know. I don't want to completely sell something. Like, if we only have one of it, I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, take an iron lance. Uh, I don't need to actually sell anything else and then. Staff draws on its bearer's MP when used to attack. So, it, it makes Kiro very strong. It actually makes Mina very strong. Which is good. Uh, where do you give it to Borea or Maya? It gives... It, it works better for Maya, which is interesting. I think I'll give it to Borea because he's currently in our party. And I'll try to remember to swap it out between times. Anyways, around the back. Mystery sign. Also another sh building here. With probably mini metal. Or not. What about you? My grandfather was educator years ago to Sars Muska. He, it, it is very proud. So when his grandfather is having responsibility for educating it, education in my family. Oh, bookshelves. Discipline and education, royal traditions and learning the laid back ways. Oh, they are lined up neatly. Wow. <laughs> Plain clothes. Long ago, I'm educator of Sar uh, educator to Sar of Sidomoska. As before many years now, Sar was only a young boy. One night he awakens me with request. It's very strange. He tells me that his daughter's troubled and he must go, and that he must to make signposts behind from church. Do not know where he is building signposts or and what he is writing. Sar himself did not ha did not have no memory of this. Sar is in possession of multiple powers of an imperious judgment. So for why does daughter turn out this way? <laughs> hmm? Yet I uttered nothing. Please be ignor ignorant of me. Now let us hasten to view signposts behind a church. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're gonna miss so much dialogue because there's no way I'm going to be talking to everyone, leaving town, switching up party, and then talking to everyone again. <sighs> what does it say? To my daughter of future, I see you must be troubled, troubling. So I teach you some useful something. Elevated high in the sky is Castle Dubs and Nithia, where Dragon Guard God resides. We already kind of know this. Dragon God has formidable strength, and he long ago sealed into darkness the Lord of the Underworld. People from Kenelot to come across ocean to north are knowing many more things of this Zenithia. Yours with affection, the Tsar of Zemuska. Cast from the sky, dragon god living in the clouds. Can I know what to, uh, to make of it, all this? 
Yori, a celebrated eccentric monarch of Kenelok, is truly being authority on Zenithia? Hmm, very well. Due to swords of alternate ideas, let's go there. Tell me, what do you call the rule of Mosca's fans and admirers? Sure, they're stargazers to a man, so they are. Star? Okay. That one wasn't the worst you've done. <laughs> At the very least. Okay, I, now it's time to head out. <laughs> Uh, and before we go into the castle, let us just make a quick stop over here-ish to here. It looks, looks a little different, doesn't it? It looks very empty. In fact, this is what it looks like except for fear here now. But, uh, the Desert Bazaar have done finished and moved on. We traders like to thank you all for your patronage. Howdy, y'all. It's been a while, ain't it? It's me, Hank Hoffman Jr., remember? I done finished my apprenticeship with old, old Ilton, and now I'm setting up by myself. I figured I might as well follow in the old Coot's footsteps and set me up, up a boom town like dear old Mintos. I can't very well just make a town out, out in this here wilderness all on my lonesome now, can I? Which is why I thought I might ask you globetrotting varmints a little favor. <laughs> varmints? Can y'all get out there and find some folk with itchy feet and tell them about tell them about the newest town in town? I seem to recall hearing about someone who is just itching for a new life hanging around in little laissez fair. Okay, laissez fair. I can go there. We get together some as well clown. We'll, we'll build up a town here. Laissez fair. You know what? Shall we go on a little side check? I mean, it's better than just switching up the party immediately. Let us do so. So I need to find someone who's wanting to move. Uh, it's Rocky Oceans where Island where Monsters live. Yes. I was going to come back alive from that place. It's best to observe it from afar. Very knowledgeable. It's never a bad idea to see a, will, see a wee bit of singing and dancing, but it'll be nothing until tonight. I mean, yes, I've heard of it. It's very really return gold. Or iron to gold. <laughs> yeah. It, normal. Anyone in here wanting to go somewhere else? The oceans and see. Yeah, I've seen it. What, Lord of the Under... Oh, he's not... Yep. Yeah, he hasn't reserved himself at all. Okay. Get on with it. Have I, I've been in here, right? I've broken all these pots? I should have. Is this a picture frame? Beautifully painted landscape scene. Okay. What's happening? The women in here can't get enough of me. It's great. Pardon, friend. I'm busy with this gentleman at this moment. Come back later. What's going on up here? There's a lovely young girl called Blondell who used to live in this room, so she's gone somewhere else now. And then there's something fun happening in here. Oh, la, Zantrash. I'm not that kind of girl, friend. You must come alone. Do not want to see you sneaking back here on your own now, <laughs> so let you here. What are you talking about? I wasn't going to do that. Why <laughs> God, this is an awful place to come and try to see anyone. Anyone want to leave? Whoever moved to another seat. Yeah, you could move to another seat. We've talked to all of you before. Okay, no one in here actually wants to go anywhere. Who where is this person that they were talking about? Maybe, maybe they're only... I can only find them during the day? Nothing doing today here. Oh, someone won't give you a job? Sure, I'm gonna open my break break soon. No, not you. I guess time to go into the little houses. I could find myself a fledgling settlement somewhere. I could be great use to its inhabitants. Hello. Yes, says Miss H Mr. Hoffman is establishing a town of his own. My humblest thanks. I shall make my way there forthwith. Finally found someone. <laughs> huh. I guess I'll head back there now. Hoffman's place. That's probably it, right? Yes. Good. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a frog. What the? 
Wait. The frog's familiar. Okay. <laughs> Howdy there. I've been waiting for y'all to come on by. Yes, I, I just been shooting the breeze with that their sister you done send on down here this solo. And there's a few folk in town I've done invited myself to. Looks like this place is a bu hustling and a bustling. But it's still ain't nothing more than a cow shed and an outhouse right about now. You gotta help me get keep on bringing these folks flocking into town now, Solo. And I done thought of the perfect way to get them down here too. But I can't very well go stand around here talking about y'all right by my house in Prairie when you got yourself a minute. I've done built myself a little place just nearby. You can come on there and have a, a talk about it. In a little bit while to make more make ready for y'all, so just so you have a mosey around town in the meantime. See y'all in a little while. <laughs> Outside of town. Okay, I don't recall that part. Peace be with you. I'm a wandering nun. My heartfelt thanks go to you for teaching me of this place. I consulted with Mr. Hoffman, and he agrees that I should help you to the best of my abilities. I believe I can be most use of you at Mr. Hoffman's home, so I shall retire there and wait for your orders. Please take your time to relax and enjoy yourselves. God is good with you. No one has anything to say about this place. Oh, there's a little shop. Hello. Be heard? Yes, but I haven't even told you anything yet. Find what happened. Auto shop. What do you have? Anything interesting? No. Okay. Either have you heard? No. This is a new town founded by a visionary fellow by the name of Hoffman. New around here too, but they've let me set up a little shop. Cool. Do you have any? I um. Mini metal. Uh, fun fact: I think that this entire place counts as different things uh, every level. Goodness me, I know I said slightly be fox something slum- what? Invites another. I feel like I've been woken from a slumber from, of 1,001 years. Oh, good day, and who might you be? Solo and esteemed companions, I am most honored to make your acquaintance. I am but a simple frog who has been by chance learned the language of humankind. Were you aware of the rumor that a magnificent castle once stood upon this very spot? No. Oh yes, that this surely was once a kingdom whose fortune was built on trade with distant lands. But now is no more than the arid expanse you see before you. But you youngsters are aiding in the efforts to restore this humble hamlet to its former magnificence, are you not? I do little, but while away my days of illness by the ponds, there's something about waiting for something to be restored. So ten you no longer, Mr. Hoffman awaits you in his dwelling place, does he not? Spoke of the necessity of your cooperation and further development of this humble settlement. I shall sit in here and await this town's rising from the desert sands with patience of patient anticipation. I don't know if I've ever managed to finish the construction of this town before I gave up or whatever. Bunny tail! No, no, Ragnar, you don't need the bunny tail. But can you can equip? Oh, it's lo okay. Uh huh. If we're giving it to, if it was a luck, we should always give it to you. <laughs> sure. There, that works. Did I just see an item get swapped out? No, no, that was just. No, I was looking into it. I had to understand. Hey, I'm Rocky. Mr. Hoffman invited me and my lady Adrian to move down here from the big city to start a, us a new life. All I gotta do is work hard, and all our dreams will come true. All I want for Adrian is to be happy. That darned Rocky. From morning till night, he's out there in the field, slaving away. Here we are, and we are newly married, and we're straight into the hard life. I guess it's his nature. He always was a fighter. No one has anything to say. Ooh! Mini metal. Bookshelves. Yeah, that, whoops. I was trying to see which one I... I don't know which one I've read. I guess I'll just check both. Okay, nothing. And is that everything currently in the town? Looks like it. So let us leave and head off to his house, which is right here. It wasn't here a second ago, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Yeah, pioneering done got, done got started. <laughs> done gun got, whatever. Is there anything behind his house? No. The beauty of this garden sets my mind at peace. I pray that I can be of use to you in some way. Okay, 
we can save here. That's cool. Do you have anything? No. Kind of a small place you have here, but considering the size of the town, that makes sense. I've been at Little Solo. I just got finished getting everything ready. I mean, actually, it's big for houses in these games. Uh, so, so I did not read any of that. Something flies on fertilizer. I done just got had a few ideas myself. I can't just sit on one for certain. Tell you what, y'all have been helping me get the place together and all. How about I let you decide? I write off a couple of ideas and you can tell me which one you like best. Here goes. First off, I got out of about Solo Town. No. Well, I ain't the excited. Well, I guess it ain't the excitiness I ever heard did here. Okay, try this with extra on for size. How about Solosville? It's aimed for yourself there, so how no? Not as much. I knew you wouldn't be not too keen on that one, so I said the best one for last. It was how about Saint Solosburg? <laughs> not Faz, uh, no. Ah, uh, shucks. It seems like ain't cut out for the town name and game. Because there ain't nothing to do let you farm it aside. Come on now and give me a name, they'll have them cheering to, <laughs> to beat the band. Oh no. No, this is worse. No, now it's all in Japanese. Oh. Uh, no. 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 Uh, I came back out of this. I haven't saved in quite a while. I guess I'll just... I think... I have this written down. Even no Machi is the kanji that's written on the uh, Dragon Quest sub... Like, uh... Not sub what am I saying? Sub uh, uh, wiki talk for the name for this town. Uh, it's written in kanji, which obviously I don't have access to with the this keyboard. So I went ahead and translated it to uh uh can, is this katakana i think so yeah yes because from my memory from taking a japanese class in college a few years back which i kind of remember some of it uh this is what's used for like nouns like proper names and such uh might have messed that up still. I am translating it from kanji after all. Uh, cool. Well, that's a pretty, yep, something so grand. That only took like a good 10 minutes to figure out. All right, then we'll name our little town, old township Pioneer Town, which is what it translates to. Okay, cool. Now let's go and get the real business down to the real business at hand. I should have just chose one of the previous ones. I didn't realize he was going to go all, like, give me a Japanese keyboard. Okay. Truth of the matter is, I've been having me some chance encounters. Done me some reading of the mighty old books and, okay. Seems like out there in the big old world, there's plenty of folks with, on, on the same quest as y'all are. Chance encounters is all about grabbing a hold of them folks in the breeze and making, and you're, making new partners while you're at it. We send a few folk over and bring some new folk back from other places. Oh, you're talking about, like, DS connectivity or something, right? I think so. So what do you say? You want to do a pick and... Uh, sure. It's been how Pioneer Games all about. Pioneer's body is handpicked by yourself out in the world, uh, folks on foreign lands. When you send one out there, you get a Pioneer back from wherever you send them farm it to. That Pioneer will just settle on down and start making new life for themselves here in... On your town. Uh, okay. I don't know if you need to do this. I hope not. Because, yeah. First, you gotta choose yourself the type of varmint you want to send out there. Remember, so this sucker will be representing your interests out there, so choose carefully now. Oh, and we have. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh,. Where'd everyone go? Why could I choose? Oh, I can't choose them. Okay. Pal the rudiest, tuniest name in your melon can muster. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Sure. Sure. I... I don't care. <laughs> go off. Will your words greeting and he'll be sending out the world. Lots of A's. <laughs> uh, sure. It's never gonna happen, so. 
Uh, let's get that sucker on down here then. Thank you. Sorry, Kirk is out here right now. Like, literally, we just cre created a person <laughs> and are sending them off into literally nowhere. <laughs> just send them out to as many other places as you can, but don't go spreading them too thin. Okay. So I talk to you. You said some meshes clearly and carefully. You won't change now. Okay. Bows stiffly. Uh. You citizens, we have. Why do they have no names? Okay, uh, male, male, who knows, female, ages, hobby is brown nosing, DIY, cruising, and puff puffery. And they have their hometown, which yours is Pioneer Town, okay. Uh, yeah, we're not doing wireless stuff. I don't have this on an actual DS and considering my other cartridge would base it would be uh it would just it would be hard to record for one and I'm not sure if it would work between Japanese and English versions <laughs> I'm gonna save now I should have saved before doing all that <laughs> like really you don't have an in here do you I don't believe so. Uh, that's unfortunate. I need. To, I guess I'll just go fly somewhere. Okay, I quickly looked it up. Uh, I can't actually progress this any further right now. I need the next key, which is good to know, to be fair. So let's walk around and see where we can get to at the moment For, on this continent or this landmass island, whatever. I don't know. I wonder if the guy has moved yet. He might have. No, you're still here. Okay. Fine. Well, this, uh, this takes me back. I stayed at the inn here when I was roaming, roaming the boots searching for you, Saul. There's a cave here. I don't need to use the cave. For man with, I, with my years, it is boon to have expanded supply of traveling companions. The Billy is no, not, is not just capable of delivering punches, he has many other talents, sure. So my and Mina thought they'd be avenging their paw in the past Leon, but it wasn't to be. The top priority should be tracking down, doing the man who killed their paw and teaching him a lesson. It's happening soon, yes. But we can walk around, uh, because there's gonna be new enemies. Kungu! Uh, we can just normal attack. That's not very good, actually. Even Boria. That's what your new weapon looks like? Okay, I guess they're stronger than they look. Oh. 195! Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah. That's really unfortunate. Unfor I mean, well, if that hit, that would have been nice. Oh, maybe they don't have that much health. Were we, effect were we hitting both of the other ones, though? I'm not sure. There we go. Okay, there's a town here. Anything new happening here? Dabri Den Travelers, welcome to Ren on Renoir. I'm weary worrying. I hope he is better soon. There's a man here who's been weary, weary injured. The women should come for him and take him away. Speaking of running from Palace to Leon to in South, they live there in, in, in now. What? There's a boat sink past the guards back of the Palace to Leon. That is not an easy task. Hope that Laddie's injuries are none too serious. What is going on? Let's just, just quickly go check. Because I assume they're in this inn because everyone goes to this inn. Yes. Oh, are you... What's her name that disappeared? Came across that man Ujam, and I was... As I was trying to escape from the palace to Leon. Oh, yeah. He was so badly injured, I thought he was dead at first. But just as the gods caught up with me, Uzam sprang to his feet and was hands in sedation, and voila! The man saved my life. He is my hero. Seems like that wee lass has been looking after Ujam day and night. Ah, uh, he's a lucky man at night, alright. 
My name is Udiam, please. I am the most proud student of the fa very famous alchemist Mahabalaji. Now I'm wondering, wondering how Mahabalaji's girls are getting onto these days. We'll go check them out. Mahabala. Uh, hey, I, I have heard that name before, before somewhere. Back in about Demond, was it? No? Yeah, let's go. I don't remember him being here at all. <laughs> But let's go switch them out, them in. So there are no clothes shops and no casinos. What are the people here doing for fun? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I can smell the salty, salty scent of the ocean on the breeze. Oh, Mahabalaji's beautiful daughter. I'm so hap so much happy to see you are safe. It is me, Ujem. I very nearly kicked the bucket back in that miserable, abysmal palace to Leon. Listen to me. That Balzac mister we are hunting for revenge from Hobbala, he's something about uh, a Pasaro the Manslayer. The Sorrow mister is wanting to use the secret of evolution to make all the monsters super duper tough. We must stop him. We must bury the secret of evolution once and for all always before it is too late. That is what Mahabalaji would have want would be wanting us to do. Ah, it's so nice to be meeting with Ujam once again. So Balzac is still alive, and him too, well, they should have been preparing for the end. I think we are meeting with Ujam here of all places. Now we must be putting, him, putting an end to Balzac's silly dilly nonsense. Yeah, I have no memory of this. <laughs> cool. Well, let's be honest, that's the only thing that's going to be in this town. 